them featuring freshman Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Now, while some of you may be quick to think, oh, this, this is ridiculous, this could never happen here in the United States of America, well, history is riddled with the roadkill and the misery and of many versions of socialism almost always ending the same way. False promises, broken promises, failure, poverty, misery among the people. This is a real serious threat to our way of life. Doesn't matter Republican or Democrat. So today, Ocasio-Cortez rolled out what is a horrific, frightening, frankly, piece of legislation. She's calling it the Green New Deal. Now, everything we have been saying about the new radical extreme Democratic Party, what they were hiding in 2018, now it's all in writing. And it might be even worse than we thought, because just hours ago, Ocasio-Cortez and others put forth one of the most dangerous, impractical, misguided, economically guaranteed to be devastating plans ever championed by any American politician. A plan, if it's ever implemented, guaranteed to fail, and the results will be disastrous for the American people. But she and others couldn't be any more proud. Take a look. This is so incredible. This is such a major watershed moment. And I am so incredibly excited that we are going to transition this country into the future and we are not going to be dragged behind by our past. We should do it because that is what this nation is about. We should do it because we are a country founded on ideals of a culture that is innovative, that, that cares for our brothers and sisters across this country. No, I think it is a green dream, and I think that uh, it is. And I don't think that, um, you know, I don't consider that to be a dismissive term. I think it's a great term. All right, before we get into this, I promise you, you might be thinking, oh, this is fake news. It is not. This is a real proposal, real ideas from real lawmakers in the new radical extreme Democratic Socialist Party of America, beyond dangerous, beyond scary. Now, in a six-page overview released by her office today, well, Ocasio-Cortez is now calling, pay very close attention, for the United States of America to move to 100% quote, clean and renewable energy in 10 years. In other words, she literally wants the government to implement all, eliminate all fossil fuels, all of them in 10 years, which by the way, that energy is the lifeblood and the engine of all economic success. She wants the government to radically alter the way you heat your home, the way you commute to work, what you cook, how you cook, what you eat, and live your life. In doing so, well, the Socialist Democrats, they plan to nationalize and literally eliminate, you know, in many ways, the most profitable industry in America, the fossil fuel industry. Millions of American jobs would be wiped out if we were ever to follow this plan. The industry that has led the, with technology and technological advances, the lifeblood of our economy and why we have the highest standard of living that we have today that is the envy of the world. And it gets worse, according to a study from Stanford. This plan, at a minimum, is going to cost $13.4 trillion. And just for reference, in 2015, the entire federal budget was just $3.5 trillion. Now, sadly, there's even a lot more to report. The so-called Green New Deal proposes the elimination of air travel, all air travel, and the creation of more high-speed trains. So forget about jetting around the world in mere hours and enjoy your train ride to Europe, Japan, Australia. Good luck with that train. And I can't wait for her to explain how those trains are going to be built. Kind of like all aboard, the Poverty Express is coming. And this gets even more bizarre. Her plan also wants to take on the problem of cow flatulence by potentially putting an end to red meat consumption. Why? Because cows create CO2. No more steak. I guess government forced veganism is in order. And also, the Green New Deal would redo literally every single building in America. I'm not kidding. The legislation, the government would quote, upgrade or replace every building in the U.S. for state-of-the-art energy efficiency. Okay, how many millions of commercial buildings in the U.S.? Uh, well over 100 million residential homes 
rebuild every home in the country, every business in the country in 10 years? By the way, how is everybody going to pay for all of this? And beyond that, remember, deep down, this plan is really just a socialist wish checklist. This is what they've always believed, but now they're getting more vocal about. That's why in this utopian horror, it grants every single person, these are the promises she's making, guarantees that everyone will have income, including those that are unable, okay, to work, even unwilling to work. Nobody has to work. But the government handouts, they don't stop there. They want free health care, free education, free housing, free retirement. It's all in there. Free, free, free. It's a great bumper sticker, great slogan. Wait till the bill comes in. Uh, what the government gives, the government taketh away. What made America a great, prosperous nation? It was built on liberty and freedom, pursuit of happiness and capitalism. Goods and services that people want, need, and desire being provided by other people. I didn't grow up with a lot of money in my life. I have a very modest background. My parents worked very hard. My grandparents, all four of them were poor. My mom, a prison guard. My dad, a corrections officer. We had a modest 50 by 100 lot home, one bathroom, three older sisters. Kind of tough on the younger brother. And for a good portion of my early adult life, I did struggle to make a living. I was a painting contractor. I hung wallpaper, laid tile, did all sorts of jobs in construction. Every conceivable restaurant job, that was almost 20 years of my life. I worked odd jobs, lived in a small apartment. I even bought a 1971 Ford Maverick, barely running, 350 bucks. I bought an old Providence Gas Company work van for $200, the best money I've ever spent. I was never guaranteed income, didn't have health care when I fell nearly three stories off a roof, and thank God I learned something, the value of hard work, digging deep, taking risks, like all of you do in your everyday life. The U.S. has lifted more people out of poverty, our capitalist system, than any other system in the history of the world. If we have learned anything from all of these socialist countries and experiments, when government squashes human initiative, the system descends into chaos. Maybe on paper it sounds great, everything's free, you're safe and secure. Well, how are those government schools doing now that they want to add free college on top of everything I mentioned? How did Obamacare and those promises work out? Did you keep your doctor, your pay plan? Are you paying less? How many of you have less than one option? I only have one option. You know what? Do you really trust Bernie Sanders? Medicare for all, $33 trillion. Kamala Harris, her plan to get rid of private insurance for 177 million Americans. Elizabeth Warren's plan, after you've already paid taxes and you maybe you saved 35, 40 cents of the dollar, she wants to come back and say, give me more, which would be illegal and unconstitutional. That would literally, we would be giving a license to steal. They would be creating a law to rob you blind. They want, do you want the government in every aspect of your life? Socialism always promises everything takes all your fears away, every one of them. The problem is, tell me where it's working. Give me the great example, Venezuela, the former Soviet Union, Cuba, 